Hello everybody, um, I'm Aphrodite Rose Starfire and today finally I want to do um, share with you guys um, my past lives um, other than my Af you know Af being Aphrodite. Um, so before I go into like each individual past life, um, I've never done a past life regression or anything like that, um, but I, ever since I was little, um, I've had very intense dreams and um, reoccurring dreams, a lot of um, what I later now, what I now know to be um, kind of like, like last moments, like death moments, death scenes. Um, but even as a child, especially into adolescence um, and as a teenager, um, that's when I had like the majority of my past life um, experiences. Um, and then um, I've had these recurring dreams, the same ones over and over again. I have multiple dreams during the night and I usually remember everything. Um, so, you know, these scenes are very um, ingrained in my mind and um, it was later that I realized that these are actually past life um, recalls because they are different than some like I have dreams that are like regular dreams and then I have like astral travels and then I have like past life um, like replaying the, the death scene um, yeah, so I've, and I also have like inception type dreams, like dreams within dreams. Um, but usually when I actually travel, I know because I wake up in like another body, like I wake up in, in a bed that I don't realize. Um, so, so I'm like a little disheveled, sorry, it's like when the ocean, kind of crazy looking, but um, I'm doing this from the back of my car, which actually turns out to be kind of cool. Hopefully I'm in focus. Okay, so, um, I was also I wanted to say like what I found that a lot of my past lives are um, like if you had somebody when you were little that you were in intensely fascinated about like you researched um, intensely or you had like an obsession about a certain historic figure I found that that you probably were that person um, in a past life um, Especially if you like resonate a lot with their, their story or whatever. Okay, so one of these people that I, um, it's like I had this connection that, oh yeah, like I used to be obsessed about this person when I was little. But um, the first one's Anne Boylan. She was the second wife of Henry VIII, and I have the recall of being beheaded um, of. Uh, me putting my my head on the chopping block and then being um, me putting my, my wrist down or actually no maybe I have my hands behind my I, I don't know but I put my head down and they beheaded me and I had I could still see out of my head as my head fell um, off into the basket like I could still I was still looking through my eyes and like it was like spinning um, but she was also somebody that I had an obsession with, um, where I researched her, um, historically, maybe when I was fourth grade in the middle school, um, and she's maybe one of the reasons why I was really fascinated with French, learning French, and she was like, she was really admired by Henry VIII because she was so different, um, because she had the French ways, she knew the, uh, the ways of the French court um, in the English court, she brought kind of pizzazz. Um, and she was kind of like an independent thinker um, for the time. Anyways, okay, so another person um, that I kind of researched, no, this is another person that started, that I first was obsessed with that um, initially I rejected the idea that I was her because she's so alien and that's Nefertiti. Um, 
She's the mother of, I don't know if I was pronouncing it right, but Akhenaten. Um, he was the first monothe mono, he brought monotheism to um, the Egyptian life or culture. Um, he was the first pharaoh to, to claim himself to be God um, and to denounce all of the other Egyptian gods. Um, so she was, she's the one with like the, the famous, you know, um, so I, I was obsessed with her, um, again, like fourth grade and researched her. Um, but now knowing that she's probably, um, I don't really have any memories of her, of being her. Um, I just resonate with like the fire blood line and, um, having the like special traits. Um, and, and just the fact that I was like obsessed with her, um, like researching her in the library and finding everything I could find on, on Nefertiti. Um, okay, moving on. Um, so also, um, this is a story that I've told many, um, of my friends, if you know me, but so I have a dream or have a, a memory of being a, um, Viking, um, in kind of a, a small boat by myself like a, I guess like a, a version of a, a rowboat single canoe and um, I was like out in the middle of like a fjord and it was like black water and I could feel like this energy build up and I look off to the side like, into the depths so it was like a very deep um, cold water and I could see like this sh like shimmery um, shadow coming up and it has like kind of a white speck on it and it was an orca a huge orca coming up from the depths with its mouth wide open and it swallows me um, like the whole boat and um, and I always like wake up when I die and then so then I also have a, a past life memory of being an orca and this one's a really happy memory. I was um, in an open ocean and I was a mama orca and um, I was swimming with, I had a baby calf and we were diving and uh, I was like blowing bubbles with my baby and um, we were like kind of like swimming in and out and going down and up and um, it was a very pleasant, uh, uh, mem uh, memory. I also have a past life memory of being, um, I don't know if you know what a uh, cycad trees are. They're like prehistoric. They still exist. They kind of look like a really weird palm tree, um, but they make big, huge cones. Um, so they're like a prehistoric, um, they're like pre-palm, pre-conifer, um, they're supposedly around when the dinosaurs are, so I don't know about the whole dinosaur story, but I actually have a memory of being this huge, tall, ancient, um, cycad tree. I was giant, and I grew above, uh, this, this, um, grazing area where brontos huge brontosaurus is and there they had babies and there's some maybe some other smaller dinosaurs but it was mainly brontosaurus um, and they would graze there and I was such a tall tree I kind of hang I hung over them and I would watch like the generations the families of the brontosaurus and I, w I was like um, very like proud of them I um, I had great pride in like that I was these were like my my family that I nurtured and I, I watched the generations grow and it was very satisfying um, as this tree like it was like I was like ecstatic watching this um, watching the animals uh, the brontosaurus um, grow and eat um, so I have this I have this list in my my weird um, it's actually like a graph paper notebook but I actually wrote this um, list out um, about a year ago um, when I started my awakening process and it was just at first like I wanted to write out my 
my reoccurring dreams and then I had kind of like a, a knowing but I didn't want to like I've been very suspicious of my own inklings and it's been an in certain ways it's I've always followed my instincts in certain ways but in other ways it's taken me a little while especially like on the spiritual psychic side to accept that um, these are actually like past life experiences okay so what else um, so I have a um, a memory of being um, running in this ancient, um, I, I want to say Peruvian um, civilization that was all like this stone, um, narrow pathways, but the stone came up over my head, um, but they were like narrow pathways in this giant city, but in between the stone cracks there was like this green um, kind of lichen um, moss growing and I was like a messenger and I'm like running because I have this uh, um, I think a message that war is coming um, or that like, there's, like, there's invaders coming and I'm running as fast as I can through these stone um, there's like lush greenery on the stones it's like this dark gray and there's like stairs and I'm running up and down um, I also 